The federal government has posted online the complete files of Project Blue Book. It's an account of every UFO sighting in the U.S. over the past 20 years. And it includes an event in the skies over Brazoria County. And as our Kevin Reese found out, it was an experience some of the locals are still talking about. On the back roads of Brazoria County, somewhere between Damon and West Columbia, along Highway 36, they still talk about a pair of purple and blue lights. The story of these two men, Brazoria deputies Bob Good and Billy Edwin McCoy. The year was 1965. Do you remember it? I, I remember. I remember the excitement. To get Kevin McCoy is Billy McCoy's son. He was eight years old when those lights interrupted his dad's life. Dad said what he remembered more than anything. He said it, he said it just scared, absolutely scared the hell out of him. The story that starts on a rural country road is also heavily detailed in government documents, and it goes something like this. It was 11 o'clock at night. The men were in their squad car together, traveling from Damon to West Columbia. They say it hovered over them. The lights filled the inside of their squad car, and they swore that the ship was over them, a football field long. And they even drew this picture of it for investigators to see. Uh, they just were scared to death whenever this thing came. And, and he, they were screaming, go, go, get out of here, get out of here. Was he always convinced that he'd seen something real? Oh, absolutely. He firmly believed from the time he saw it to the day he died, it was real. Mm -hmm. No doubt. We missed our chance to talk to the men about that UFO. They're both gone. Billy McCoy, at 86, died just last year. But at the Brazoria County Historical Museum, Billy McCoy has his own file. My name is Billy Edwin McCoy. And it includes his own voice, a tape recording from 1985. That thing was right on top of us. The inside of our car was totally illuminated with that purple light. And to his dying day, he did believe what he saw was real. If anyone ever sees what we saw that night, there will never be any question in your mind about it something being there. Of course, there was quite a bit of excitement in our car. There was quite a bit of hollering and yelling. Uh, there were some words said that probably shouldn't be repeated on this tape. It's so vivid in my mind that I, I think I could live to be 150 and I'd never forget it. But miles away at a house in Rosenberg. Here's Texas. Look at all those cases. UFO investigator Chuck Stansberg says the Brazoria deputies had to deal with a skeptical government, just like everyone else in the more than 12,000 UFO sightings investigated for Project Blue Book. From what I've read, they seem pretty adamant about what took place. A program designed to document UFO sightings, but disprove them as lights reflecting on fog or figments of everyone's imagination. Too many people in this world know that they exist. And yet the governments, especially ours, mm -hmm. say, no, they don't exist. In that audio interview, Billy McCoy talked about that, too. Not a thing that I have said was a figment of anybody's imagination. It was not a concocted story in any, any extent The things happen, just as I said they happen. And what makes this story live on these 50 years later is that both men were well-respected. McCoy, a high school athlete, a Golden Gloves boxer, a chief deputy, a businessman, who kept telling his tale and taking on any critics who might dare to call him a liar. I think that he was cool with it. I think that he firmly believed it. And anytime anybody brought it up, he loved talking about it. He never questioned himself. He never said, maybe. I've never heard him say anything other than, absolutely, we saw something. Something they still talk about in Brazoria County, and that in a way, Billy McCoy still talks about to anyone willing to listen. I don't believe it could possibly be anything from this earth. In Angleton, Kevin Reese, KHOU, 11 News. It makes you wonder. It really you know? does make you wonder. I would never question what they saw. They were there. We certainly weren't. Right. But it's amazing to me in this day and age when every single person pretty much has a cell phone with a camera. Uh -huh. We don't have more definitive information that, hey, here's a picture. I got it.